After creating many SaaS product demo videos, I noticed a common point of confusion with new clients, and that is choosing the right style to showcase their platform's UI. Scalable vector graphics or pixel-based screen recordings. Now, if that sounds foreign to you, don't worry, I'm gonna break them down in simple terms. So by the end of the video, you'll feel confident selecting the right method for your demo. Okay, the first method is using scalable vector graphics. A vector graphic is a type of image created using mathematical equations rather than pixels, which allows it to scale infinitely without losing quality. So when you see a demo video that zooms all the way in to a UI element, without getting blurry, it's most likely using vector graphics. A common workflow is to take your Figma UI, export them into scalable vector graphics, import them into Adobe After Effects, and then start animating. This method will look the most polished because it allows for the most creative control. The downside is if you try to do it yourself, Adobe After Effects has a pretty steep learning curve and if you hire, the cost will be more because the animation involved. And turnaround times will be longer, but the end result will be the most professional. The next method is pixel-based screen recordings. Tools like Loom, OBS Studio, Camtasia, and Screen Studio are all popular programs to use. Now, because you're recording your screen in a specific resolution, there's a limit to how much you can zoom in until you get pixelation or blurriness. And this is the main difference between vector-based or pixel-based methods. It's ideal if you're looking for a quick, budget-friendly solution. It's also worth mentioning that you can do a hybrid of both methods. For example, you could screen record key sections of your software to show real-time interactions and then highlight specific UI elements using vector-based animation. It's perfect if you want something a little more polished than just your screen recordings, but not going all the way and using all scalable vector graphics, which is a lot more time intensive and costs more. If you're still confused about anything, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help.